What's your name, B.O.B., but they call you Bob? Stop playing ho, you know that I'm known for that Bob. Alright, I'm cringy as fuck. <laughs> thing and i'm back with another freaking video and as y'all can see by the title below i'm gonna be giving myself blonde skunk stripes and dyeing my hair honey brown or light brown or whatever so right now i'm on the phone with my friend so i keep looking over there but anyways y'all i know i look crazy but in my hair right now i have the aztec clay mask if you don't know now you know this is my first time, well, this is my second time using it in like two years, so I really don't know why I'm trying to tell y'all some shit. But anyways, y'all, let me stop talking. Let's get right to this video. All right, y'all, so um, my hair is like really like clumpy feeling. I don't know, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out. And excuse the background noise, y'all. My toilet is tweaking. Like, I got to have my plumber come and do whatever he got to do because it won't shut up. Like, it's like water is constantly running. Anyways, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this mask out of my hair so that I can bleach and dye my hair. And hopefully this mask is going to like give my health my hair a little bit of strength because I know that bleach and dye is super harsh especially bleach it's real harsh on the hair but I feel like I take pretty good care of my hair in Canada that explains why I'm gonna cut my hair today because for some reason my hair is uneven and part of the reason is because when I took my braids down I accidentally cut my hair so there's no point in me trying to keep my hair like this it looks super damaged and also it's like super super thin so yeah I'm gonna try to get myself the balls to cut my hair off and y'all just pray for me because every time I say I'm gonna cut my hair I'll never cut my hair because I be scared so yeah let's just get right to this video I'm gonna rinse this out and then I'm gonna come right back plus my camera front of that all right y'all so I already went ahead and washed my hair and this is how it's looking it feels super super soft so now I remember why I always used to like to use this um yeah my hair is super soft it's not my curls are not defined at all because I didn't comb or anything but anyways y'all so my forehead V let me cover that shit back up so instead of the Aztec clay mask that I used I have put um water of course and I've used the black castor oil and the avocado oil these are usually like my go-to oils so i just put them inside of there or whatever just to moisturize my hair a little bit and this is how everything looks now so yeah this is what i mean by my hair is real thin so this is why i need to cut it you can see through my hair like you can probably see through at least like from this part on down so that's how much i'm gonna cut and it'll grow back so i'm not even gonna waste my time contemplating on if i'm gonna cut it or not so yeah i am gonna cut it and i'm gonna try to get all these damaged ends off <laughs> y'all the part okay so a part of me don't know if my hair is damaged or not like i know that like from my mom my grandma myself and then like my baby we all have super thin hair of course everybody all of our hair is not damaged so i don't think that my hair is damaged but for some reason like i don't understand why it's so thin towards the end so i don't know if it's damaged or if it's just genetics or whatever but because my curls are still there i don't have any straight pieces or anything hanging out i don't use a lot of heat i always use heat protectant i moisturize my hair i feel like i take okay you know care with my hair i'm not like a natural guru a natural expert nothing like that but you know i know a little bit so i've been trying to trying my hardest to take care of my hair so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and hopefully when it grows back it'll grow back thicker if not then i will know that it's just genetics plus i did cut my hair a long time ago and it grew back full i believe but it's like the longer my hair gets the thinner it gets like i said i accidentally cut most of my hair off when i was doing my damn braids but taking my braids out so i'm gonna go through and try to like cut clip the ends just so you know i don't want no frizzes or anything and i kind of want layers so let me stop talking y'all because i will talk y'all off about uh, ears off all day so let me go ahead i'm gonna run to the beauty supply and then when i get back we can start this coloring process and this cutting process so just stay tuned and before we get into it make sure y'all give me a big old thumbs up comment and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time i post a video like so and let's get right into it all right y'all so right now i'm sitting inside my car i was just like thinking maybe i should turn this into a vlog because i don't do vlogs much so i think i'm gonna turn this to like a mini vlog as i do my hair as well so today um not only am i going to be coloring my hair and everything i have to run to go get my baby's birthday cake because her birthday is november 14th and today is the 10th so i have four days and i have not even ordered her cake and it's like a specialty cake so i need to make sure i have enough time so yeah i'm gonna put the camera in my hand because it's just doing too much so yeah y'all um i'm just sitting here thinking because i have like a family group chat we're supposed to be getting together for thanksgiving and there's just so much going on y'all and i'm not trying to put like my personal business out there with my family but we have a big family of course we all haven't been that close since our grandma died or whatever she always kept the family together every holiday especially thanksgiving we'll always go to her house and visit with her and like after she passed away everything 
everything just kind of fell apart but um everybody got their own lives me personally i didn't think anything personal of it like yeah i do miss the get-togethers and stuff like that and the family gatherings and the love and everything but it was also drama you know like everybody are everybody in my family are not nice people they might be a good person but they're not nice to certain people in their family like i just didn't feel the love sometimes sometimes i felt like it was a lot of drama uh some people had favoritism they just had a lot of they had a lot to say about everyone else's business you know i'm not the type of girl to speak on nobody's situation i don't care even if i think i know something i'm not gonna speak on it because that's just me and it's just a respect thing you know like just mind your business so we got a lot of stuff going on in this group chat y'all and i'm just like stressed because it's like it shouldn't be like this like none of this stuff makes sense about what these people are arguing about i'm talking about these people like they're not my family but they are just arguing about stuff that it matters but it does not matter like it, it's not it's not the right time to be talking about this you know like that's something you should do like in person or one-on-one -on -one, because texting your problems to people you're not going to get shit across because we're going to take it a certain type of way or you might think that you like mad about something when really you just acting like you care it's like it's just a whole bunch of stuff so i really just feel like it's stupid to text this stuff when you can do it in person you know even if we don't meet up on thanksgiving take the time out your day to come visit these people and you know have an actual adult conversation with them like everything is so different and you know i really just see my family on social media now i don't really see them in real life anymore unless it's like my immediate family like my grandma my mom my sister and my cousins like my closer cousins but like with that being said it's like whenever you can take the time out to visit each and every person if you can you know if it's that important to you to communicate um your issues and stuff like that because that's just what i feel like is the best thing to do so i could go on and on and on about it it's just like we got some dysfunctional shit going on and I wish things were differently, but hey, it's life. Nobody's family is perfect. The only thing that we can do is communicate, forgive, and move forward. So hopefully this Thanksgiving, that's what we can do. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and go inside of the beauty supply. Hopefully I don't get stared at, because like I said, I always get stared at when I'm in the beauty supply. Alright y'all, so this is the cake that Ocean wants. I'm gonna go ahead and get her that. And then her cousin, they share the same birthday. Her cousin's gonna get this one. So yeah, I'm kinda excited. Uh, this Walmart is not gonna be able to help me, so I'm gonna go to the next Walmart to see if they have it. So y'all wish me luck. What's up y'all? I'm driving back home. I just went to this car dealership because I was looking for a car, but the car was fine. It was given, but the people, it wasn't given, and it was taking too long, and I'm like, look, I don't got time for this shit. It's hella car dealerships that I can go to with the same amount of cars, probably even better cars for a cheaper amount, so I was like, fuck it, let me just go ahead and go with my, my first man and leave. So yeah, um, now I'm finna head home, and I'm finna start on my hair and stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get started on this hair, y'all. So, I'm back from the store. My hair looks so freaking crazy, y'all. It's like big as hell. It didn't look like this when I left, but natural girl problem. So, um, I'm going to be using the cream of nature. And this is in the color light golden brown, C20. And I got this, all this stuff I'm going to show y'all, I got it from the beauty supply. So, yeah. I'm going to use that to get this brown shade that I'm going for. And then, of course, I'm going to be using the BW2 Bleach with 30 volume developer. And I might mix in a little bit of 40 because my hair is dark. Kind of. I kind of got like lighter ends, but I want the ends and the roots to be the same color. And since I know it'll be more light towards the roots, like to like right here because of the heat, I want my ends to match too. So I don't want to have to double bleach my hair. And then once all that is done, I'm going to go in with some silicone mix. If you girls do not know natural girls or if you not natural, whatever. This is my go-to because if you don't put a lot of heat on your hair, you'd have not trained your hair. So your hair won't know how to get super straight. So if you put this on here and flat iron your hair, your hair is gonna get super straight. So yeah, let's get right into this process. I'm gonna do a voiceover because I'm gossiping on the phone with my friend. So this is how my hair looks after everything is nice and sectioned out. Everything that's like from here to the bottom to this side is going to be blonde and everything else at the top is going to be brown. So everything up here is nice in color. I still got about 10 more minutes until everything processes. This is how it looks. 
And y'all, I found out I had some extra play masks on the back of my head, so look nasty, whatever. But so this is how much I got left. Y'all see how thin my hair looks? This is literally how my hair has always, always been, like ever since I was a kid. I'm over it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Uh, cut it. What the fuck? Y'all cannot talk. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I ain't gonna cut and straighten my hair today because I feel like that's doing too much. Like I just bleached it and colored it. Why would I put heat directly on my hair? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna get back on the camera, and that's how we gonna finish that off. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the bottom y'all can watch me do that and then after that we'll be right back all right y'all this is how your girl hair look let me do a thumbnail all right y'all so this is how your girl look i officially did it i did <laughs> I'll bleach my hair. All right, so the ends of my hair, y'all, if y'all can tell, like this kind of pink because, uh, you know, a couple videos back, I dyed my hair red. The video will be right here somewhere. I dyed my hair red, so now that I'm bleaching it, baby, it's pink. But it's cool though, because I feel like it's gonna be cute or like I don't know. We're gonna try to work with it. Y'all know I do this, okay? A little bit. So yeah, this is how the back of it look. I know my shit is everywhere, uh, but it ain't burning nothing, so I'm fine. But I'm gonna hurry up and go ahead and rinse this stuff out because I don't want to mess my hair up and damage it real bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and wa uh, wash this out, condition my hair, and use some purple shampoo on the blonde parts of my hair. So I will be right back. All right, y'all. So this is how my hair came out. So y'all, I forgot that I colored my hair red. Look how orange that shit is. I mean, it's not ugly, but it's not what I was going for. So. Little baby hair. I gotta hurry to moisturize it though because my hair feels like super dry. Not real, real dry, but it feels more dry than what it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and I was gonna go ahead and touch it up, but I mean, it's just fine. I'll wait until like next time if I decide to like retouch up. So yeah, it's kind of cute if you ask me. You can't really tell that I have that many colors in my hair when you look at it like this. And then this is the back. That's pretty much it, so I'm gonna hit y'all up tomorrow when it's time to silk press and cut my hair. I did everything last minute, but it kind of worked out in my favor. She really enjoyed herself. I had a good time too. And baby, I stayed on the budget, okay? So yeah, um, let me take this off so y'all can see how my hair turned out. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sleepy. Like, I've just been so busy, like, from the day I started doing my hair past her birthday until today, which is her actual birthday. But we had her birthday party yesterday. So yeah, this is how it looks. And it's also, like, kind of frizzy looking because I went outside to pick them up from school or whatever. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to, like, wrap it up 
you know, like when the silk presses and stuff, and you wrap it up. I think I'm gonna wrap it up until tomorrow with the um, silk wrap, and then I might have to show y'all an updated uh, picture because it's not flat enough like how I want it to be. This is how everything looks. This is how the under part looks. It's way shorter, and I kind of like it. And I wanted to go shorter, but my cousin was like, "No, nah, it's okay." So yeah. I love my haircut. Do I regret it a little bit? Not at all because I know it's gonna grow back. And my hair don't take long to grow back. I always just braid it and put a wig on, okay? So yeah, this is how it looks. I'm trying to get y'all to... Bob. What's your name, B.O.B., but they calling you Bob? Stop playing ho. You know that I'm known for that Bob. I am cringy as fuck. But anyways, y'all, that's exactly how I be acting when I'm tired, so ignore that. But this is how the sides look. I haven't had blonde hair in a long time, so it's kind of new again. But the thing about having blonde hair is you have to, have to, have to moisturize your hair. And you have to be gentle with it because it's like, <clears throat> I don't know, it, I just feel like it becomes weaker because it's being chemically processed. And blonde is like the, what they say, it's like the weakest. I don't know, that means your hair is at, the, at its weakest stage because you didn't bleached all the melanin out of it no i'm just playing anyways y'all i don't know what i'm talking about but it sounded it sounded good you know what i'm saying so yeah i feel like my hair is a little bit weaker though now that it's blonde so i keep the moisture i keep it moisturized <clears throat> and i'll be using avocado oil that like castor oil all the time yeah that's it i'm gonna wrap up this video i know it was like giving vlog then it was giving tutorial then it was giving like what the f but y'all i'm trying to get i'm trying to like post more content and keep it relevant like i'm just trying to do so much right now y'all and i'm gonna get ready to go lay down and watch tv because i'm so tired i was gonna clean up but baby i don't got time okay so i'm gonna put them in the tub and i'm gonna lay down and i'm gonna watch tv until i go to sleep anyways y'all hope y'all enjoyed this video hope y'all enjoyed me coloring my hair and cutting it all right y'all um, give me a big old thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you click that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time I post a video like so. And I will catch y'all in my next video.